What's up everyone? This is Rugdip eating some uh, McDonald's fries. Always the best fries. Just as tasty and salty as my taste likes them. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue this trial. Wait a second. Do you remember what was going on? Okay. We realized that the first photo was taken before midnight, therefore that's the shot that Larry heard. But there was nothing on the lake, so that means probably the, the shot wasn't coming from the lake because there were no boat on the lake. Gunshots separated by 25 minutes. Ah, what's wrong? So the murder didn't took place on the lake. That's my assumption. I have it. The case with the steel samurai, that's the same thing. Yup. We've already gotten the guilty verdict. We have nothing to lose. <laughs> you know, telling telling that to Maya may not be the the best idea. You know. Oh, let me know if I say anything that sounds fishy, yeah. Like me, I'm always saying things that are fishy, but you're letting me tell those. Right, Nick. Okay, let's continue. So the entire case um, has been um, discovered just by Larry Butt's testimony. Well, that's what I'm assuming. That's wrong. A man was shot the night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, rookie, take a deep, deep breath and cause a of... No, forget it for today. Forget it. <laughs> At the time of the murder, one boat was on the lake. This was shown by the witness's photograph. The defendant, Edgeworth, and the victim, Ammon, were on that boat. Are you sure? But, yeah, how would Hammond fall in the lake if he was already dead? Mm. Maybe I went too fast. Yep, exactly. Robert Hammond was killed then 25 minutes before the shot in the lake. Uh, Edward was on the, the, the boat. If Hammond was dead, he was with the murderer. That would explain that. After the murder killed Hammond at 11.50 or uh, midnight before 10, he assumes the guise of Mr. Hammond and met Edward. Are you serious, man? What is going on with you? You're crazy, man. Oh, yeah. Third face. <laughs> yep. Okay, he didn't know the Hammond's face. That's why he didn't suspect anything when the murderer took Hammond's place.
Well, I don't know. Aha! Okay, so Larry was there, and the caretaker of the boat was there, so I'm going to present there. He couldn't meet with the victim without anyone seeing. I like this! <laughs> Look at the boat! Okay, he was out on the lake in a boat searching for something. Look at the boat. Oh, that's cute. Finds it and returns the boat. Then, just as he's starting to head for home, he hears a gunshot. He heard a gunshot, Your Honor. Even though he was wearing headphones at the time. In other words, the gunshot was very close by. And where would that be if I just returned the boat? The boat shot. That's it. Case closed. No? Okay, what will be my explanation? Okay. Manzage were picked it up afterwards, so it was the boat shop, boat shop caretaker. Shop twice, boat missed Edward on purpose. Uh, dirt face, he shot twice because he probably knew that after one shot he'd get an eye on him because of the loud noise with the echo and things like that on the lake so he'd, he'd, he'd have someone look at the, the boat to fire another shot and well confirm that he shot is that it? to create a witness Exactly, yes! Exactly! Next, waits a bit and fires again. Then, he jumped in the lake? He jumps from the boat himself, what the... F yeah, what the F. <laughs> Even a pistol in a boat behind him. And Edward picked it up. Why the fuck would you pick a, a weapon that someone just used? To jump himself in the, in the lake. Why the fuck would you pick it up? I don't know. It would appear that one of the men at the boat that shot the other. The murderer didn't know about the automatic camera, of course. That's why he shot twice to draw attention to the boat. Everything else falls into place. The boat shop caretaker swam back to his shop, then he put Mr. Hammond's wet coat back on the body and threw the body in the lake. This is what happened, Your Honor. These are the events that transpired last night on Gordon's Lake. Okay, everyone is quiet. He's still quiet. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Bailiff. Uh, can someone explain me what does that mean? I don't know this word. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, forget it, forget it. It's the the security guard or something like that. Bring out the witness from before. The boat shop 
caretaker quickly. Aha! We will know it. We will know it. Very well. While we are waiting for the caretaker, I would like to ask the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, a few questions. Mr. Edgeworth, please take the stand. Okay, this is the first time that ever happened to me. We get to see Mr. Edgeworth on the stand. <laughs> He received a letter. It was signed Robert Hammond. He asked me to come to the boat shop by the lake at midnight on Christmas Eve. Something very important to discuss with him. Probably about uh, the L6. Oh, bailiff. The witnesses disappeared. Find him quickly. Oh yeah, this is going somewhere. I like that. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, your witness has disappeared. A search warrant has already been issued. Why the fuck would you do this? You know, you know. You know as well as I know that he did it. I cannot declare a verdict under the circumstances. I will extend the trial until tomorrow, the final day allowed. I request that the police department utilize all its forces to find that witness. Am I understood? One more thing, just who is that boat shop caretaker? I think his identity has become very important to this trial. I want him and I want to know who it is, he is. But yeah, why the fuck would you want to kill Robert Hammond? If he was the one who killed Gregory Edgeworth. If so, he was declared innocent. Why would he want to kill the guy who saved them? From justice's pause. I don't know. I did it. Got out from out of that ver guilty verdict. What about Larry? That was something else. Even Von Karma didn't know what to do with his testimony. He helps us out. Yep. I just wish our cases were do so down to the wire all the time. Yeah. Yeah, really. I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, it's almost like our head is on the guillotine. Hey, Edward. Don't look so pained. It looks like you're probably going to get the hook. Good off the hook. You try to smile? You won't smile. He has something to do. It's not over for him. I don't like this look on his face. He looks really mad. What is going on? He looks so pained. He looks destroyed. What is this about? A nightmare. A memory of a crime that I committed. What the hell? What are you talking about, man? Did you do that? Did, did you do that crime? No, it was a memory. A memory of a murder. You committed it. You committed. Uh, you fucker. You, you. You told me that. What? Next time we gotta find what this shit means. Next time we really have to. This is Ryder signing out and see you soon.